the son of the books to be read pile or piles i should say hi i'm gary lovisi and this time we're going to take another look this is the third of a uh, look at piles of books that i have here that i want to read i think they're interesting books they're eclectic mixture and uh because i have eclectic taste but uh most of these are crime and um you know, it's like uh, I always find interesting books, uh, books that uh, that look interesting or that somebody has mentioned to me about, and uh, I kind of put them on the pile, and I have a few piles, and so this is the third pile of books to be read, and I uh, hope I'll be able to read some of them soon, and just go through some of them in a little bit. Uh, first one is... Folio on Florence White, which is a uh, Mercury mystery. This is uh, from the 1940s. Um, and it's uh, by Will Owsler, who was a really, really good hard-boiled crime writer. And it's, he's worth looking up as far as uh, for crime fiction. And the Mercury mystery is interesting because they had this postage stamp kind of design on all of the covers. They were digest, they were 25 cents. But there were some great books published in this series. Um, next one is Badge of the Assassin by Robert K. Tannenbaum, who was a uh, former police officer. And uh, it's a story of, uh, of a gang of terrorists in the uh, 70s that were out to, to uh, assassinate police officers. And uh, it's a true story and how they, uh, they caught them and brought them to justice. Um, next one is uh, Loaded Dice by James Swain. Um, this one I don't know too much about, but it's a gambling book. It's gambling books I like if they're really well done. So it looked interesting to me. So um, you gambled on that one. So book. I gambled on that one. Thank you, the voice from the ether says. Next one is The, the Godfather Papers and Other Confessions by Mario Puzo. So that's interesting. Mario Puzo wrote, of course, The Godfather book that was a great, great book, great read. Uh, and uh, the thing about The Godfather is if you read the book, there's parts that weren't in the movie, but the movie, of course, are, are a classic. And he talks about how they made the movie, how he wrote the book, and other stuff about uh, gangsters and uh, writing and all of this. Um, Mario Puzo was a, originally a, um, one of the staff writers for Martin, Martin Goodman's uh, Men's Adventure magazines, and uh, that's where he kind of got his start in writing. Uh, so you see st uh, stories of, uh, of his, maybe some of these in, in some of those magazines. So this is an interesting book. He's a uh, very interesting fellow and uh, writes about true crime. Uh, next one is uh, Cyberpunk by Andrew M. Butler. I like cyberpunk science fiction. It's kind of a hard-boiled crime uh, stuff, and it's... Uh, you know, kind of similar to like the, I guess you'd call it like, like the Matrix on in that the movie, The Matrix, but not really. I mean, this is more in the crime area and uh, should be pretty good science fiction. And uh, next one is Extremes by Christine Catherine Rush. And um, this is a science fiction crime on the, on the moon or on the planets and uh, has to do with murder in space. And uh, I thought it would be kind of interesting thing to see how she put, uh, combined the two. I, I like science fiction, murder mystery, science fiction, crime novels. I mean, the best one ever is uh, Al Al uh, Alfred Bester's The Demolished Man. Um, and uh, I like that, that kind of genre, subgenre. Uh, the next one is Stories Cops Only Tell Each Other by Gene Dano. And basically, this is more true crime. This is um, just stories that she, he gathered by, um, by cops that, you know, that they come upon crime scenes or all kinds of uh, weird situations in, in real life. And this is uh, a, a compilation of those stories. There's a few books like that uh, that, that tell, uh, tell uh, cases and things that cops come upon. Uh, in their day-to-day -day, uh, work, and uh, some really unbelievable, just amazing, crazy stuff. Is that um, author a cop? Huh? Is the author a police officer? Oh, uh, probably, yeah, okay. probably. 
I'm, I'm not sure after I have Then the title would not be true if he wasn't, if they told him and he's not a cop. Well, no, it doesn't have to. These are stories that cops tell each other yeah, about, he about says you know, their... only tell each other. Then he would never know if he wasn't a cop. I don't know. I can't, I can't tell <laughs> if it was. You're confusing I'm me. I'm just asking. I don't know. Uh, um, it doesn't necessarily have to be a cop who's who's writing the book. They're just collecting the stories. But if they only tell each other, how he know? Now they're telling. Yeah, other, other you just people. fell for the hype. That's all I'm saying. Well, there's a lot of things that happen uh, with <laughs> right, uh, cops mind, on yeah. patrol. You know, on uh, in in real life, in uh, weird, like unbelievable stories, and some of them are very interesting. Uh, the next one is I, Martha Adams by Pauline Glenn Winslow, and this is a kind of a science fiction, um, kind of a throwback to the Cold War. The Soviet Union is uh, fighting to take over the United States, so it's one of those kind of science fiction political things, and it should be interesting. It was fairly popular years ago. I never read it back then when it came out, but I, I, and uh, it's kind of a not that common to find it these days and I recently found a copy and I says oh this is interesting maybe I should put this on the to read pile and I and I did so it's there voila uh, New York Confidential by Isidore Heiblum is a Weiss and Weiss mystery I like this author he's a uh, a uh, New York uh, writer writes a lot of science fiction mostly not so much uh, mystery and crime but, but he has done that and he's a good writer uh, very uh, kind of uh, not, not not well known and uh, very uh, very uh, much better than, than than people would would assume. He's a really good read, so I like his stuff a lot. So I'm gonna put these over here. And the next one is Tough Guy Writers of the Thirties by David Madden. And this is just a book of articles on the Tough Guy Writers of the Thirties. All the classic authors that we like to read, that I like to read, and it has all information about them, their writing, their um, their life, and their characters. Next one is Live Bait for Murder by William Herber. It's a Bantam book from the 1950s. It has a Mitchell Hooks cover. It just looks like a really interesting uh, crime novel. Uh, it's a uh, private eye, uh, and uh, never heard of the author, but it just looks like it might be really good. Next one is a classic uh, by Gene Mustaine and Jerry Capace. It's Murder Machine, which is one that I want to read. Lucille has already read it and said it is a devastating book. It's true crime. It's a true uh, story of uh, of the. Uh, the Mayo crew in uh, in Brooklyn and Queens. Basically, they were uh, they were the muscle for the uh, for the uh, one of the uh, crime families in New York City, and uh, they they did the murders. And uh, they were basically a serial killer crew of, of killers, and uh, they enjoyed their work too much. Uh, that's a true story, and this one here, Sam and Chuck Giancana, Double Cross, an inside story of Giancana and the Chicago outfit, uh, and uh, should be an interesting book. I like that. I like those true crime books. Uh, next one's a kind of a little obscure one, Popular Library, Kill the Dutchman by Paul Son, and this is a story of how they murdered Dutch Schultz, or Arthur Fliegenheimer, uh, and as he, there he is, killed and uh, dead in his, uh, when he was shot in the, in his, in the restaurant. Um, went out to eat with some friends, and uh, Lucky Luciano had, had Anastasia and the guys uh, kill him, because he wanted to uh, kill the special prosecutor, John Dewey, and they didn't want to have that kind of heat come down on them. Next one, Actually, the next few, the next five, are by Don Winslow. 
Don Winslow is a really, really good crime writer. He wrote uh, Savages, which I made into the, the hit movie. He's written a lot of other ones. And these I found some early paperbacks of his. And um, they're all really, really good. He's a good writer when it comes to crime fiction. It's always, the thing in that his stories are always, there's always surprises like that pop up in them that uh, very interesting stuff. So A Cool Breeze on the Underground is one of the, one of his books. Uh, Neil Carey Mystery, his, his um, um, washed out comic and he uh, ends up getting, in, um, getting involved in the, uh, uh, murder mysteries while drowning in the desert and it's by the author of the life the death and life of Bobby Z which I which I read these I haven't read but that one I read it was great uh, he's, he's a really really good writer uh, the next one is the trail to Buddha's mirror and there's two more Don Winslow a walk a Long Walk Up the Water Slide, another Neil Carey mystery. And the last of these, uh, Don Winslow, is Way Down on the High Lonely. Great, great, great stuff. Don Winslow's uh, unacknowledged, I mean, he's a, he's a best-selling author and uh, very popular and all that, but uh, he should even be more popular than he is because he's really, really good. Um, next one is uh, nonfiction, the art of fiction, notes on crafts for young writers by John Gardner. John Gardner is a terrific writer. He wrote uh, a, a lot of uh, really excellent books, and he, he was one of the uh, first author to to continue the mantle of Ian Fleming writing James Bond uh, novels. And uh, here he talks about um, writing and the art of writing. So it, that's something that uh, should be really interesting, I think. I'm going to move these out of the way, and we're going to look at a few others. Next one is Voyage by Sterling Hayden. This is a novel that takes place in 18, uh, 1896. Sterling Hayden was the actor who played Dax in, uh, in Asphalt Jungle. He was the actor who played the, uh, the uh, captain in The Godfather, the police captain in The Godfather, the nasty SOB that strikes uh, Mike in the in the face, and uh, then they he, he gets he gets shot uh, in in the restaurant when when uh, in The Godfather. But Sterling Hayden was a terrific actor, and he was a he was a rugged individualistic kind of character. He had that look about him, and um, you know it's 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 so uh, almost. Perfect that he would write a novel about like you know uh, sea, uh, you know wild uh, sea action activity. Um, so this is a novel written by an actor about the sea. Uh, there's other actors who have written about the sea. Gene Hackman, also Errol Flynn, and uh, I've read the Errol Flynn books, and those are really really good. This should be good. This should be really really good. Um, An author that I do like a lot, I don't read him as much as I, I, I'd like, is uh, James Hadley Chase. Um, and this is uh, one of the British paperbacks, Get a Load of This. Uh, this is a collection of his short stories, which I, I didn't really know that he wrote short stories. Uh, but uh, this is a collection of James Hadley Chase short crime stories. And uh, all his stories, he's... He's kind of like this. I, I would I would call him the kind of like the Spillane of uh, of Great Britain. I mean, his like his. If you want to read some really hard, intense. Uh, oh, a minute past eight. That's excellent. Yeah, but also uh, uh, No Orchids for Miss Blandish. You've got to read that. That is unbelievable. And the bodies just pile up all over the place. And when that came out, he wrote that in like a week or something. It's a very short time. Uh, it was because it was just white heat when he wrote it. And um, sometimes authors have that. It's white heat. It's just like you're writing and it just all clicks together. And you're just like almost, you're almost taking dictation when you're writing because it just flows from your mind just right onto the paper. And he wrote No Orchids for Miss Blandish in that time period. And Chase 
and the bodies pile up and it was like uh, denounced by the press at the time how violent it was and everything and then he wrote a sequel the flesh of the orchid in which the uh, daughter who's a uh, miss blandish who's a homicidal maniac takes over the gang of killers uh it's, it's unbelievable really really good stuff and his stuff is really good um the next one is journey to the flame by richard monaco not too much too sure about what this is about it's kind of uh a modern version of she or king solomon's minds i wonder what attracted you to that book i'm, I'm real curious i can't imagine i think it was uh, <laughs> i don't know uh, i don't know what caught your attention probably the title yeah that this, was this, it. this 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 very <laughs> uh interesting uh, uh te text text and calligraphy mm. yeah okay if you're gonna make comments, why don't you do the videos? <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I don't know who that voice is, but uh, she's uh, she's very helpful. Because uh, I forget stuff sometimes, and she says, "Oh, you got to remember to say this and remember to say that." And sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. The uh, next one is uh, Brooklyn Bounce: The True Adventures of a Good Cop in a Bad Precinct by Joe Poss and Henry Schlesinger. Brooklyn Bounce about uh, Brooklyn. Uh, Brooklyn Precinct, I wonder which one it is. East New York, yeah. Yeah. So this is East, East New York, where uh, that was kind of like a wild part of Brooklyn, where anything goes. And so that's a, that's a true crime, true police uh, um, act, activity and situations and cases. Um, Another, another one similar to that is Precinct 19 by Thomas Larry Adcock. And uh, this is, uh, takes place in Manhattan and true stories about cops in Manhattan in, in, in the 1-9. So that's an interesting book that looks interesting and I'd like to read that. Um, this is a Bantam, um, Brotherhood of Evil, The Mafia by Frederick Sondern. And this is just basically a story about the Mafia, how they came to power, what they did, and uh, a, lot of, a lot of stuff in here that was um, probably uh, used in The Godfather. Because The Godfather, uh, Puzo, took actual true things that the Mafia did, kind of, but he fictionalized them, moved them around, just changed them, different things. So that uh, you know, certain things that happened weren't actually uh, weren't actually uh, true, but they were based on truth. Um, next one is uh, Clockers by Richard Price, and this is a, a drug uh, inner city crime novel, uh, very brutal. Uh, it was made into a really a pretty good movie, um, and. Uh, I always wanted to read the book and to see, you know, what uh, what, what it was about because it was really pretty good. Uh, and the next one is uh, No Way Back, a Luther Ewing thriller by uh, Michael Crow. I don't know if Michael Crow is a pseudonym, but I've read a couple of other books by Michael Crow, and um, and they're good. They're really good. So when I saw this one by him, I picked it up. So. That's the uh, son of uh, Books to be Read Pile. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to have to read all, all of these books. I hope so. I really would like to. Uh, Murder Machine is very high up on the list because Lucille read it and she just keeps telling me, you've got to read it. It's, and it's a, lot of, a lot of these are really good. Uh, Don Winslow is a favorite of mine. So I just hope you enjoy this look at an uh, uh, eclectic list of books that... Uh, I'm hoping to read someday and that uh, maybe you'll get some uh, interest in, in finding one of these and pick up one and say, hey, I think I'll try and read it too. This is like good stuff. It's good stuff. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, give us a thumbs up and a like. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for looking.